Hello, Chase Wilson here, Senior Consultant at Sterling. So we were doing this cash flow series. A lot of questions came up on time management. And so I'm just doing a little segment on time management. Uh, point number two here is priorities, right? First, we covered a schedule, the importance of having a schedule. You need to kind of list out and put on your schedule when you're going to get something done or else chances are it's not going to get done. So the other one is priorities. What goes in your schedule? Um, I like to do an A, B, C, and D. For everyone, it's going to be different. A priority A is going to be different. Someone who has kids, a priority might be anything the kids want. Someone who doesn't have kids is going to be different, right? Maybe your dog is really high on that list of priorities. A priority is what's important to you. But let's define a couple of these priorities. Priority A is urgent. Priority A usually has consequences if you don't get it done. So that's a bill that needs to be paid. That's illness that can occur. That if it's important to you to take care of your dog, that's doing something with your dog. If your relationship's on the rocks, you know, that might move to a priority A to do something. So it's anything that has consequences is a priority A. Now it could just be consequences for you or something that, that is very important for you. But that's a priority A and that gets done first. Why? You want to do the worst first. You want to do the thing that you're thinking about because if you're not getting that done, you're thinking about it while you're not getting other things done. If I have an upset with someone in the office, it's a priority A to, to resolve that because otherwise I'm walking around all day thinking if they're you know, talking about me, I'm avoiding them, I'm going out this door to walk through that door just so I don't have to see them or when I do walk by them, right? it's taking my attention. I'm now not getting things done. So that becomes a priority A. Oop, caught it. So a priority B is something with less consequences. That's something that comes after a priority A, but it still is important. It still needs to be done. That could be uh, you know, more of a, of a regular activity. That could be something that was supposed to be done yesterday, but it's, it's gonna be a problem if it's not done today. Now, if it's not done today, then it's a priority A tomorrow because the client's complaining or the patient's upset that this wasn't done or what have you. So that's a priority B, something with less consequences. It's not as big of a fire. Your list shouldn't all be priority A. If your list is all priority A, you've been in a coma for six months and you're catching up. So a priority A is emergency. It usually needs to be done this second. Priority B usually needs to be done today. It's something that has to be done today or it moves to a priority A. Priority C, that's your day-to-day. -day. Priority C is just your, your regular activities that will become a priority B if it's not done. You see what I'm saying? Priority C is all your regular activities, and I do this on all levels of life. I do it uh, at work. I do it personally. I do it for my hobbies. I do it in my relationships. I have a priority, so I have an idea of what to get done first, right? So that's a priority C is your day-to-day. -day. That's, your, that's your job, so to say. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Everything's running smoothly. Now, priority D. D is actually for delegate. These are the things that you're doing that you probably shouldn't be doing. These are the things that you're doing someone else's job. Or uh, one example, there was an office, it was a dental office. The uh, doctor came out here for training, came out to Sterling for training, and he told the staff, I'll tell you what, why don't you guys stay busy, uh, clean up this room, why don't you uh, repaint the bathroom? That's what it was, repaint the bathroom. So you have eight staff in one small bathroom. Okay, what are you paying per hour for a whole dental office to be in one bathroom painting it. Okay, they got paint on the sink, they got paint on the floor. They're not professional painters. Amazing hy uh, hygienists, they're amazing front desk, but they're not painters. So he came back and the color was a bit off and had to do it. He had to go pay uh, additional money to get it repainted and touched up and stuff off the floor. So he spent two days of staff pay to paint this bathroom and, and he had to sp have someone come in Right? You see what I'm saying? So it's a waste of time. What could they have been doing that's more productive than painting a bathroom? Now that's kind of obvious, but I see a lot of times the owner going out and buying toilet paper for the practice. I see a lot of times the office manager uh, organizing someone else's desk. So anytime that you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing, and I ask people, let me see your priority A's and B's, and they're usually not done, and I find them working on a priority D. I find them solving other people's problems. And know this, if you're solving someone else's problem, they're not solving it. And what does that tell you? The problem's not gonna be solved. That's a Band-Aid you put on there. It's gonna come off and you're gonna come do it again. And they're gonna complain to you, aren't they, that you didn't do a good enough job doing their job. That applies to staff, that applies to colleagues, that applies to family. How many times do you help someone out in your family and they now depend upon you or they complain that you didn't do it good enough? Right, so that's the, the D's you actually want to put on your list. What is a D that you should not be doing to remind you? So these are the priorities, A, B, C, and D. If you have any questions, I'd like to also know, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, but I'd also like to know, 
what it is that, that is important to you, and we can kind of work out what your priorities are. All right, I'll help you with that. Okay, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.